okay so good morning student so we continue our previous topic diffraction uh, grading so today we will uh, discuss overlapping of the spectral lines and the second determinations of wavelength of spectral line using transmission grading so first i take the topic overlapping of spectral lines right so suppose we have two or more waves some of the uh, wavelength is lower some wavelength is higher when these two waves are overlap then how we can find the wavelength of corresponding uh, light so write down the points uh, let's first one if incident if incident light incident light light on grating grating have large range of wavelength large range of wavelength length large wavelength of uh, uh, range of the wavelength means some of the part is lower means the spectral lines of a shorter wavelength shorter wavelength and higher wavelength higher wavelength okay so we have the two type of the waves which wavelength is shorter and one more is which wavelength is higher and the angle diffraction angle is theta so i consider let an angle an angle of diffraction angle of diffraction is theta angle of diffraction is theta and one more thing i consider the wavelength of this shorter part is lambda 1 and the higher is lambda 2 so first point second is the wavelength 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 for first order first order is lambda 1 and wavelength wavelength for second order second order is lambda 2 and so on wavelength for the third order is wavelength for the third order is lambda 3 now in that case i use the same uh, grating equations and we know the grating equations is a plus b sin theta a equals to n lambda this is the grating equations so right now i consider the same equations so I can write I can write a plus b a plus b is sin theta a equals to lambda 1 a equals to 2 lambda 2 a equals to 3 lambda 3 and so on so this is the conditions for overlapping of wave length so this is responsible for the first wavelength of the first order this part is responsible for the wavelength of the second order and this is for third order and so on we can move for further higher order terms so this is the uh, equations of the overlapping of wavelength so 
by solving the, this equations we can find out the value of lambda 1 or the grating elements or theta so that's I have one numerical exercise based on this problem so let's I consider so let the red line example red light red light wavelength is how much the value of the wavelength of the red light it's a 7000 the red light wavelength is wavelength is 7000 Amsterdam and one more I have the green light green light wavelength is 5250 Amsterdam and so on for I get right for the violet violet the wavelength order is 4200 Amsterdam. So I have the three different uh, color uh, wavelength of lights. One is red, another is green, another is violet. The value of the wavelength is 705250 and 4200. So now using these expressions, I can write A plus B sin theta is equals to ha yeah one more this is for the first order this is for the first order part so this will be 3 multiply 7000 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter this will be the equations for the third order if i know the value of the first order then the value of the third order will be given by this one in the same manner if you are interested for finding the value of the second order then the value will be 2 multiply 7000 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter for red same manner for green this will be 3 multiply 5250 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter so this is the value of the green light and the last the equations for the violet will be 3 into 4200 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter so by using the overlap equations we can find out the wavelength for the different different colors so this is the generalized equations for the overlapping of the wavelengths right so next uh, i will discuss the determinations of wavelength of a spectral line using a spectrometer The topic is determinations of wavelength of a spectral line using transmission grating, plain transmission grating. So this is the device which we generally use in our laboratory for the determinations of the wavelength of a spectral line using a plain transmission grating. So now look at this is the source. This is our source. Generally, we use sodium lamp source. So, this is the sodium lamp source. The property of the sodium lamp source is that it consists three spectral lines D1, D2, and D3. So, this is the sodium light source, monochromatic source of light. Monochromatic source of light. Now, 
this part is known as the collimator so the collimator is used between the grating and the source the role of the collimator is to find a single spectral line now finally this line will be incident on this part which is known as the plane transmission grating this is the plane transmission grating plane transmission grating so this is the plane transmission grating and on the right hand side we have one telescope this represents the telescope telescope so this is the grating telescope collimator and the sodium lamp source this two part collimator telescope and the grating are mounted on a circular disc mounted on a circular disc this is the circular disc which have the angle range from 0 to 360 it has the angle range range of the angle range of angle from 0 to 360 degree so we have two meter scale one in this side another in this side so for one sided this will be from 0 to 180 and for another side it will be again from 0 to 180 so total 360 degree angles so this two scales so when the light which is come out from the sodium light passing through the collimators and incident on a plane transmission grating when this light fall on the plane transmission grating we observe a spectrum with given spectrum so a lamp and the right hand side we observe with given spectrum or we observe a violet green and red spectral line so suppose we observe a violet line here so we fix the telescope in such a manner that we can clearly observe this violet line through the eye piece now if we rotate this telescope further we again observe a violet at a some angle theta 2 if we consider the initial angle is theta 1 the next angle is theta 2 so the first way we observe the violet is known as the n is equals to 1 grating order is n is equals to 1 in the next will be n is equals to 2 the same color will be observed on a opposite directions means for n is equals to 1 on the right hand side will be observed here for n is equals to 2 the violet color will be observed here so this is the basic setup of a uh, instrument by using this instrument we can measure the wavelength of a spectral line using the uh, transmission grating now i explain it how we can determine the wavelength of a light using this instrument right so now i draw a optical diagram so this is our plane transmission grating this plane transmission grating what is the property of plane transmission grating this plane transmission grating contains number of lines in per centimeter length and the value of this number of lines are 10000 to 15000 so this is the plane transmission grating now light is incident so this is the source a 
S, S is for source. So light is incident from the source, monochromatic light, and fall on plane transmission grating. This is our collimator. So collimated beam incident on a plane transmission grating. So after passing through this grating. This white light, the white light from the sodium lamp will be converted into the different colorful light. Colorful light. So let's the angle is the first angle is theta one. And we observe two point one is A, another is point A prime on a screen. P is known as central image. This is the central image. Image. P is the central image. The property of the central image is that it will be the completely white light. I can say in that case n is equal to Zero. N is equals to zero. Now, at point A and A prime, we observe the first order spectral line. First order spectral line. Same. First order. First order means n is equals to one. N is equals to one. If we further move, we observe the second order spectral light. This is the second order. Second order. So now I give the new point. This is the B. And this is the B prime. Now the new angle will be initially was the theta one. The new angle will be the theta two. Same the new angle is theta two. So P is the central image, first order, second order in right hand side, and the same first order and second order on a left hand side. So this is the spectral of a plane transmission grating. So now uh, we can write. So very first, let's O A O this point. Center point O. So O A represent this O A O A direction of direction of first order image order. Image. This is the first order image, and OB. This OB is the second order image. Direction of of second order image. Again, the direction of the first order image on an opposite side. O A prime is the direction of direction of first order image on other directions. Directions. Same O P prime. The directions of second order image on other directions. So let's angle A O A prime. We calculate this angle A O A prime. So the angle.
Anyone? Angle A O A prime. This angle A O A prime is and B O B prime are theta one and theta two. This angle A O A prime is theta one. And B O B prime is theta two. If we divide this angle by factor two, this angle is two theta. So A O B angle will be theta one. B O B prime is two theta two. So the angle B O P will be the theta two. So now we use grating equations. Grating equations. So according to the grating equations, we know A plus B sine. This is the generalized equation sine theta is equal to two angle theta. This is the grating equation. So now uh, I apply these grating equations for the different angle theta one and theta two. So these equations will be a plus b sine theta one is equal to lambda. If wavelength of this sodium light is lambda, in this case. This equation will be a plus b sine theta one is equal to lambda. Now for the second order, this will be a plus b sine theta two two lambda. Why? Because in this case n is equal to two. Why? In the previous case n is equal to one. So these are the two grating equations for two different angles theta one and theta two. So by using these two equations, we can easily find the value of lambda, which will be the wavelength of a sodium lamp. So from equations one and the equation second, we can easily measure the value of lambda. We can calculate the value of lambda, which is the wavelength of a spectral lamp. So by using this instrument, we can calculate. The wavelength of a spectral lamp. So this is the technique, right? So now we solve our numerical problem based on uh, this part. Right. So, question is let the lambda is example let the lambda or the wavelength wavelength lambda is six thousand. Angstrom, or I can write six thousand into ten to the power minus eight centimeter, and a plus b. What is a plus b? A plus b is the grating element. So the a plus b is two point five four divided by fifteen thousands. Means if we have the fifteen thousand lines in a one inch length, so a plus b is two point five four divided by fifteen thousand. So from the grating equations, a plus b sine theta one is equal to lambda. This is for the first order spectral line. A plus B sine theta one is equal to lambda, 
and the second is a plus b sin theta 2 is equal to 2 lambda. So now put the value of a plus b in this equations and calculate the value of theta 1. So if we calculate the first part, so this will be 2.54 divided by 15,000 sin theta 1 is equal to lambda 1 is so much 6,000 into 10 to the power minus 8 or this sin theta will be 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 multiply 15,000 divided by 2.54 or theta 1 will be sin inverse of this part sin inverse of this part so when we calculate the theta 1 the value of the theta 1 will be 20 degree 45 minutes in the same manner if we calculate the value of theta 2 for second equations this will be 2.54 divided by 15,000 sin theta 2 is equal to twice lambda lambda is again 6,000 into 10 to the power minus 8 so the sin theta 2 is 2 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 2.54 so if we calculate the theta 2 sin inverse this part so the angle will be theta 2 will be 45 degree 7 minutes these are the two angles theta 1 and theta 2 so by using this two equation we can calculate the value of theta 1 and theta 2 sometimes what happens if the value of angle is given you can measure the value of uh, you can find the value of wavelength so this two formula is important right I have one more problem
the spectrum spectrum on the screen screen calculate calculate the saturation of of two lines so this is a numerical exercise so the two wave length is given 5000 and 5200 angstroms and, and grating lines value is given is 10000 lines per centimeter so and one more parameter that is the focal length of lens is given which is the 150 cm so we have to find out the separation of this two lens separation of this two lens okay so by using the same two formula so we know a plus b sin theta 1 is equals to n lambda 1 so this will be sin theta 1 and lambda 1 upon a plus b so for the first order this will be 1 into 5 into this one 5 power n so this is the 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by this grating elements is a plus b is 2.54 into 15 are uh, 10000 10000 is given so when we calculate it so the order will be 10 to the power minus 4 so if we solve this one theta 1 is sin inverse 0.5 so this will be 30 degree in the same manner theta 2 using the same equations sin theta 2 is n lambda 2 a plus b so this will be 1 into 5.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 this one 5200 angstrom so divided by again the same value 10 to the power minus 4 so theta 2 you can solve by using scientific calculator so when you calculate this value theta 2 Will be the sine inverse of 0.52. This will be 31 degree three minutes. So, if we use the lens equations, so we know that slope tan theta one is equals to x one upon focal length f, and tan theta 2 is equals to x2 upon f therefore the spectral width x2 minus x1 will be f multiply x2 minus x1 will be the f multiply tan theta 2 minus tan theta 1 so now put the value of theta 1 and theta 2 So when we put the value f is equals to 150, focal length is given 150. Put the value of theta one. So this is the tan theta two. The value of theta two is how much? 31 degree three minutes minus tan theta one is 30 degree. So when we solve using the scientific calculator. This will be 4.7 centimeter, which is the width of this spectral line. 4.7 centimeter. So by using uh, this formula, we can calculate the width of this spectral line. Right. Okay. So next is. Difference between 
the freeze and grating spectrum. Basically, we update the spectrum by freeze as well as the grating. So, what is the main difference between the spectrum which is observed by the freeze as well as the grating? So, the main difference are given is in this table. So the first point is in a grating we know that in a grating we observe different order of spectra. Different order means n it equals to 1, n it equals to 2, n it equals to 3 and so on. So that means for the different order we observe the different different spectra but in a prism we uh, observe only the one spectra. So this is the main difference. So if I draw the diagram so if this is the grading we observe different orders n is equals to 1 n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 but if you consider the prism you observe only one this is the source one order of spectra. This is the one major difference. Second, we observe a pure spectra in the grating. The intensity of the grating pure in a grating. Why? We do not observe the pure spectra in a prism. Pure in comparative of a grating. So this is the second difference. The third difference is using grating elements and angle wavelength we can measure the angle as well as the wavelength. If we know the value of angle we can measure the value of wavelength. If we know the value of wavelength we can measure the value of angle. But in the case of prism by using the angle of deviations we cannot measure the wavelength. If we know the angle of deviations in a prism on the basis of angle of deviations, we cannot measure the wavelength of a source. So this is the difference between the grating and prism. And the last difference is the intensity of the spectral lines uh, of the gratings are much less than a prism. The intensity is the more in a prism. This is the one opposite uh, difference between the grating and prism. But most of the incident light energy is distributed in a single spectrum so the brighter spectral lines are obtained in a prism. So that's why the intensity is high. Intensity is high. Why? In this case the intensity is low. So these are the main difference between the grating and the prism spectrum. So here I stop. So we completed our optics part here. So next we start the new topics. Thank you.